going on, everybody? Welcome to the Vikings Now by Chad Sports. My name is Patrick Steepman, and coming up on today's show, I wanted to get wild here on this weekend. We're going to be talking about the Vikings trading for Marshawn Lattimore and T. Higgins, two of the biggest names in the NFL. Could they be heading to Minnesota? Let's find out on today's show. But before we dive into that, guys, I was looking at some analytics here at Chad Sports, and I was taking a look at the team that took Kirk Cousins from us this offseason. And we are in a hole right now in terms of total subscribers gained this month. So if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, lock us in as you go to Vikings YouTube channel, and help us close that gap with Falcons today. So Bleach Report put out an article recently listing some of their bold predictions before training camp and the season get underway. And they said the Saints will trade Marshawn Lattimore before the start of the 2024 NFL season. And they also listed the Minnesota Vikings as a team that could help facilitate that deal. But let's see what Bleach Report had to say. They said, when the Saints see what the secondary would look like with Paulson, Debo, and Kool-Aid McKinstry as their starting outside cornerbacks, they might be willing to see what they can get for Lattimore. The 2017 first-round pick has been a good player for the Saints when healthy, but he's 28 years old and played in just 17 games over the last two seasons. As the Saints look to retool while constantly facing a salary cap deficit every offseason, they need to evaluate who they are willing to play. And, you know, listen, the Saints have one of the best cornerback rooms and, honestly, best secondaries in the entire NFL. They don't necessarily need Marshawn Lattimore. I could see them evaluating their room and saying, hey, we could go get maybe a third, fifth round, second round pick for Lattimore, whatever it may be, and let some of these younger guys step up into that role because, Man, this Saints safety uh, and uh, DB depth chart is ridiculous. I mean, even on screen right now, you got five of the better players in the secondary in the NFL. Paulson Debo, he's a young and up-and-coming player who the Saints are going to need to pay next offseason, so maybe that's the decision they want to make. Um, but you also got the Honey Badger. You still got Lattimore, Alante Taylor's you know, young and up-and-coming, and he's a stud. And then also they drafted Kool-Aid McKinstry, who, how, who I was very high on, before the draft, but Bleach Report did connect the Minnesota Vikings by saying this, the Saints chose to restructure Lattimore's contract in January, might have provided a sneak peek into their plan for him. Rather than convert his salary into a traditional bonus that would spread out the money, they gave him an option that won't officially kick in until the week before the regular season. That means that any team that trades for him before then would be on the hook for the bonus. That's an unusual detail that could signal the Saints have been thinking about a trade for a while. Their selections of McKinstry in the 2024 draft deepens that. So this is how the Lattimore contract would shake out if you are trading for him. He would be on the books for $14.6 million this upcoming year, which the Vikings can't afford with them having you know, $26 million still in cap space. 2025, Vikings are projected to have around $56 million dollars and his cap hit would be 31.4. And then in 2026, his cap hit is 28.6 million. But then also Jeremy Fowler threw out a wild trade idea um, the other day, and it was the Vikings giving up a fifth and a third round pick for Lattimore. Obviously, the Vikings are pretty strapped to draft capital next year, only having three picks, a first and two fifths. So Fowler had the Vikings giving up one of their fifths, and then they uh, dove into their 2026 draft capital for giving up a third round pick. But if this is all it takes to get Marshawn Lattimore, I would absolutely be all in because, you know, Lattimore is still a fantastic football player. We saw him go head to head with Justin Jefferson a couple seasons ago in London, uh, you know, did his best number he could there, but he is still very effective. I mean, even dating back to 2021, him having, you know, 19 PBUs in a 16 game sample size, you know, that would be fantastic. So listen, I would be all in on Marshawn Lattimore, especially you know, because of the fact the Vikings DB room, like, you know, you like guys like Byron Murphy. If he's a CB2 and Lattimore's your CB1, you're going to absolutely love that combination. And then that allows a chance for guys like a Cale Bevins, Makai Blackman. You know, they don't need to be thrust in there right away to, you know, getting big time game experience. They can sit behind the scenes a little more and watch one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, Marshawn Lattimore, cook for the Vikings defense. I would be all in on this deal, especially if it is just for a third and a fifth round pick. I think it would be an absolute steal for the Minnesota Vikings. And, you know, also the biggest question mark when trading for Lattimore is how are we going to absorb this contract? Well, the Vikings aren't paying the quarterback big money. Have that go to getting one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL in Lattimore. I would absolutely love this deal. But, hey, maybe you guys disagree with me. You guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Give me an A for accept 
or give me a D for decline. And if you're a Saints fan coming across this video, let me know your thoughts. If this is enough to get it done for Lattimore, a 2025 fifth and a 2026 sixth, or third round pick. All right, another blockbuster name that could be dealt before the NFL season. What about T. Higgins? Now, I will give you guys my thoughts on why I think this makes sense for both teams here in a second, but more specifically for the Minnesota Vikings, with the huge question mark around Jordan Addison right now, maybe the Vikings try to facilitate a little Jordan Addison, um, T. Higgins trade. So I definitely could see this being the situation where the Vikings are just like, hey, we just want to get rid of Addison, get him off our books, and the Bengals are looking at Addison as a young, up-and-coming player who they could get the most out of him. And then also, like, the Vikings don't necessarily have anybody, you know, who you feel confident in besides Anderson or Jefferson. Like you like Powell, you like Sherfield, you like Naylor. Do you really, you know, love any of those players? You know, most likely not. But also Rapport tweeted this out um, the other day where he said it, uh, it appears evident that the Vikings are, or that the Bengals are not going to be able to get a deal done with T. Higgins. He also said um, that the fact that he did not extend or did not sign his extension by Monday's deadline. He signed the franchise tag. He will play on it, and then he will become a free agent in 2025. So maybe the Bengals are looking at the situation saying, hey, we're going to lose T. Higgins no matter what next offseason. Let's see if we can get maybe some future draft capital or maybe a young and up-and-coming wide receiver in Jordan Addison. But taking a look uh, at what T. Higgins did over the past couple of years, he's been fantastic for Cincinnati. And I understand, like, the – you know, the production is not going to absolutely blow you away. You're like, oh, he's only had two seasons over 1,000 yards, but the eye test for Higgins is what makes him such a coveted receiver in the NFL. Like, considering he has that big body frame, six foot four, can go up and win all types of 50-50 balls, like, that's his game. And I actually do think that archetype of receiver is incredibly effective next to a guy like Justin Jefferson because Jefferson's an A-plus in everything, but if you would say something he's an A-minus in would probably be like the red zone. Well, T. Higgins, he's one of the best red zone threats in the league. And I'll say this, an Addison for T. Higgins trade would be very, very interesting. You know, I think the Bengals fans have always kind of hoped that they would be able to nab Justin Jefferson and recreate that LSU 2019 you know, team from a couple of years ago. But if they could get Jordan Addison, I think they could be interested in it as well. So here's why it makes sense for both ball clubs. Start with the Bengals side of things. They have a decision, or they had a decision to make to pay T. Higgins this past offseason or not. And now with them, you know, not being able to get that deal done, they're going to have to fight the open market to keep T. Higgins. Well, they're already paying Joe Burrow a ton of money. They're going to pay Jamar Chase at least $33 million per year. Can they really afford to have T. Higgins on their books for, let's just say, $25, $30 million? Probably not. Now, why it makes sense for the Vikings, well, you're not paying the quarterback, you really are only paying Justin Jefferson in terms of offensively. Obviously, Darisol's deal is going to come you know, here shortly, but they can afford a T. Higgins trade, and that's why the Vikings have set themselves up so nicely. They can either go all in on a big-time player like a Lattimore or a T. Higgins or just sprinkle it around next free agency and build almost a San Francisco 49ers-esque roster where you have a quarterback on a rookie deal, but the other 52 players on that roster – are absolute studs at their position. So I think it's interesting, but hey, you guys let me know. Would you trade Addison for T. Higgins? Give me a T for trade or a P for pass. I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. Um, I love Jordan Addison, um, but, you know, with just everything that's been going on, he would be an upgrade at wide receiver. And, you know, I think you could actually get this trade done just with a straight-up swap. So you guys let me know, T for trade or P for pass. Also, if you guys want to give me a follow on Twitter, that's the handle right there, at Pat Steves. If you guys do so, I'll give you guys a follow back. Link for that in the comments and description of today's show. But hopefully you guys are enjoying your weekend. See you guys next time. As always, go Vikings.